on a primetime Saturday night game against LA. Clay lit it up with the most points since his return. Maple Jordan hit a dagger in LeBron's grill and also blocked King James at the basket. Maybe most noteworthy, the Golden State Warriors 19-year-old Phenom is exploding into a premier two-way player right in front of our eyes. Jonathan Kaminga's springiness on the glass, his defensive versatility, and on the other end of the floor, his added bucket-getting prowess has become a staple in the Dubs championship winning system. Taking on the challenge of defending LeBron, this video breaks down how JK, plus other intriguing Warrior rotation players and stars, have allowed the Dubs to go 12-4, all without an all-time great defensive player and big man passer. Right quick, only 11.8% of you watching right now are subscribed, so if you haven't already, please subscribe and turn on notifications. Also leave a thumbs up, it takes a few seconds and makes a massive difference. You can follow me on Instagram and Twitter at dflowhoops and I'll follow you back. Links in the description for those two platforms. Next to LeBron James and Stephen Curry, the recently turned 19-year-old from the Republic of Congo in Jonathan Kaminga was the leading scorer among all players in the first half against the Lakers with 16 points on the NBA's most watched game of the week, a nationally televised Saturday night outing on ABC. Most rookies would have folded with tens of millions around the world tuning in, but not the seventh overall pick in 2021's NBA draft. The kid was ready to make life tremendously difficult for Braun and the Lake Show. Despite getting the rookie treatment from the refs and having to miss a large portion of crunch time in the fourth quarter, Steve Kerr subbing Kuminga back into the game with 10 minutes to go proves that the Rook has cemented himself as a consistent Warrior rotation player. It was a thrilling potential game of the year down to the wire outing versus the feisty James and Davis-led bunch, with Malik Monk and Austin Reeves providing their stars with solid support. We'll get to how Clay sealed the deal with a beastly performance coming up. First, we'll key in on some noteworthy instances from the best 19-year-old in basketball. This possession sees Steph and Looney run an empty side pick and roll, and after Curry dumps it off to Kavan, all five Laker defenders are looking at the Warrior big man. What they don't realize is, Kaminga's perfectly timing a cut to the basket and catches the pass in traffic, throwing down a poster with his blistering hops. This time, Curry gets Anthony Davis switched onto him and attacks him off the dribble in an iso, key in on how Kaminga shuffles back to the three-point line before cutting right back around and then towards the rim, catching Westbrook flat-footed before welcoming both Russ along with Trevor Ariza to their respective Kodak moments. Those two dunks ultimately equate to two field goals and four points, but the intimidation factor of the posters in terms of how they can shift momentum goes much further than that. Through six games during the month of February, Kaminga's averaging 17 points, five rebounds, and two assists per game, making a blistering 60% of his field goals. Before getting to Clay's breakout game, we have to give some credit to the man in charge who has the third best winning percentage by a coach in league history. Steve Kerr's split action, motion strong, down screen, and all around innovatively based offensive system has become the most advanced in all of the association, and it's not even close. Very few teams, if any, are initiating and executing the type of offensive play sets that Kerr is experimenting with. Throughout the flurry of dubs videos I've posted on this channel, Given how exciting they are, and how deeply talented they are, Steve Kerr's received a glaring lack of credit, and while the games played out between the lines, Kerr's debatably the best coach in the NBA. Because the Warriors having won 12 of their last 16 games, all without Draymond Green, is a tremendous, scary accomplishment that could have deadly implications for 29 other squads. From Steph to Gary Payton II to Kevon Looney, or even Juan Toscano Anderson, and many more, the dubs are defining the phrase strength in numbers. Whoever Kerr places his trust in, they go to work for him, and the swift way in which Steve's managed the rotation hasn't had the slightest bit of impact on anyone's psyche. Clay Thompson was coming off a game where he received unfair criticism for missing a game winner. The play seemed like it called for a handoff by Thompson to Curry, but Thompson keeps possession and decides to take Evan Fournier off the dribble, Thompson takes Fournier to the free throw line, gets him up in the air with a fake, and finds himself with an open jumper that misses. Thompson makes that 9 times out of 10, so you have to live with that shot. Proving all of the unjustified Twitter criticism wrong though, against the Lakers, Thompson scored 33 points on 22 shots, going 7 of 13 on 2s, 5 of 9 on 3s, while posting a ridiculous 68.3% true shooting mark. 
Three of Thompson's five made triples were in the clutch, but prior to those daggers, there were signs that we were watching all NBA clay. The unconscious marksman whose waxing hot shooting performances can individually win you a game. A lot of his success was attributed to Thompson being in the right spots. On an extremely limited sample size, Thompson shooting a blistering 8 of 13, which is 61.5% on left corner threes. The Warriors are well aware of that and specifically designed sets to station Thompson in that very corner as a floor spacer. It was outstanding to witness a seemingly vintage Thompson place a lethal strain on the Lakers' defense through his off-ball movement. From an opponent's perspective, seamlessly switching with flawless screen navigation are needed in order to hold down one of the greatest catch-and-shoot snipers in NBA history. Even the slightest bit of confusion on a switch or ending up on the wrong side of a pick lead opposing defenses to get absolutely punished by a player of Clay's caliber. The Warriors often utilize Curry and Thompson setting back screens for one another, especially on sideline out-of-bounds plays, like this one right here. Russell Westbrook and Avery Bradley switch the back screen, with Bradley now taking on Thompson, who has a height advantage over the 6'3 Bradley. Thompson relocates to the weak side wing. Just a beautiful action, but now we're going to look at some other massive plays in the second half that help seal the deal for the Warriors. Kaminga was doing an exceptional job on LeBron James all night, helping hold James to a 9-for-27 shooting night. One massive defensive sequence that changed the personality of the Saturday Night Thriller came in the middle of quarter number three, and it wasn't a stop on LeBron in particular, but displaying his versatility right here, Kaminga switches on to THT. As Horton Tucker tries to dive to the basket in a screen-and-slip scenario, JK's combination of lateral foot speed and IQ allow him to swat THT clean at the bucket. That was followed a few minutes later by a slick feed from Jordan Poole. Just watch how he threads the needle on a ridiculous bounce pass to find Kevon Looney, who misses the first attempt but cleans up his mess. Poole's facilitating is an extremely underrated asset in his offensive bag. For the Warriors to have a player with that type of passing talent outside of Stefan Draymond goes leaps and bounds towards the Warriors' chances of consistently creating quality shots through each game of their looming 2022 playoff run. The potential sixth man of the year in Poole's extra shot creating and under control quarterbacking nature has been a breath of fresh air all year for the Dubs. Displaying his calm, cool, and collectedness, Jordan Poole's 0.5 points ahead of Danilo Gallinari of the Atlanta Hawks to rank number one among all NBA players in free throw percentage. In the late third frame, Belly sets the on ball for Wiggins. Air Canada throws it back to Belly in the post, leading to a beautiful split action on the left wing letting Poole loose for a smooth catch-and-shoot pull-up. The next momentum swinger came with just over eight minutes to go in the game. A solid face guard on LeBron by Kaminga and deflection by Damian Lee allows Clay to get the rock in transition, and from there, Thompson displays his pristine finishing ability with a dominant and one, which brought the house down at Chase Center in San Fran. While Stephen Curry is still trying to fully recapture his early season groove, this defensive stop on Malik Monk when the Warriors desperately needed a stop, proves that the two-time MVP and three-time champ is much more than just his offense. It's those types of clamps which display why he's the most valuable point guard defender across the entire NBA. With 6.40 remaining, Andrew Wiggins stuck with and stuffed Braun at the hoop. A sensational play by my fellow Torontonian, but the biggest show-stopping performance came from all NBA Clay, who looked unconscious in the final minutes maybe re-establishing himself as one of our game's clutches players with one game alone. Two shoutouts next video, but who's your favorite Warriors player to watch right now? I hope you have a great one. DFlow signing off.